with the creation of the Constitution and the Declaration of Mankind, King Louis' powers reduced drastically. However, as you will see later on, he had plans of his own. The people of France were happy. The National Assembly had succeeded in making France into a constitutional monarchy. However, having been stripped of almost all his powers, King Louis was not happy. He decided to launch a campaign with the help of Austria. As Queen Mary Antoinette was from the Austrian royal family, Louis was sure that if they were to reach Austria, they would be safe. So Louis and his family disguised themselves as peasants and headed off to Austria. Unfortunately, the revolutionists came to know of the plan. The king and queen were caught near the border of France before they could enter Austria. They were brought back to Paris. The people of Paris were enraged and now lost all faith in their royal family. The National Assembly decided to wage war on Austria. Lots of volunteers came to fight from the neighboring regions. Patriotic songs, such as the Marseillaise, were sung. Marseillaise was composed by Roger de la Isle and is now the national anthem of France. It was about during this time that Maximilien Robespierre came into the forefront of the revolution. A lawyer by profession, he was a strong orator and was the head of the Jacobin Club. The Jacobins included members from the lesser prosperous middle class. They considered themselves different. Jacobins were also called sans culottes, which meant those without knee breeches. They wore long striped trousers similar to dock workers and wore a red Phrygian cap that symbolized liberty. Meanwhile, the war was still going on with Austria. Prussia too entered the war as an ally to Austria. The expenses of the war raised the prices of food again. High prices and shortage of food angered the Parisians. On August 10th, 1792, thousands of people stormed the palace of the Tourelles, where King Louis and his family were staying. All the king's guards were massacred, and the king just barely managed to escape. The National Assembly stripped King Louis of all his powers and imprisoned him and his family. On September 21st, 1792, a new assembly called the convention was formed and France was declared a republic. Now that King Louis was imprisoned and that France 